Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another reaction video on my channel. Thank you for tuning in. And today we are watching a video from Matt Rose, this one here. Um, it's not a suggestion. This time it's one that I picked out myself uh, for a change. This one here is called Netflix Descriptions Gone Wrong. Now, you might not be able to imagine right away what that could mean, but I'm pretty sure just after the very first one, you will understand. Now, this again is a short one, around four minutes, a little bit less, and it's around two years old. But just from seeing the thumbnail in the first couple seconds, I think that could be quite interesting and entertaining. So, as always, a link to the original video of Matt is in the description. Help support him to get one million and like his videos because he always makes really good compilations um a little bit of self-advertisement i think i've already done in the last video but just to be on the safe side we do have a discord channel so if you want to check that out um we will always welcome you and enough talking let's get started all of us, Netflix sometimes cocks things up and it will list a show only with a different show's description. SpongeBob SquarePants, he's lost his family and now his last daughter to violent terrorism. Oh boy. He'll stop at nothing for the day of reckoning. That's not the kind of SpongeBob I was watching. What, what show or movie do you think is that from? Like, it's obviously a bit of a bug. I wonder what it's originally from. Can you imagine if SpongeBob had this kind of plot? That would be fucking, fucking wild. These tickled me, so I found a handful that I thought we could look at together. Ba -ba yeah, so basically, that's what, what this whole topic is about. It's about mismatching descriptions and the pretty entertaining and humorous result from that. Um, Clifford the Big Red Dog. He okay. knows a lot about divorce. Now, I've never watched Clifford the Big Red Dog. Maybe like one episode or so. But that does not seem like the kind of top you would want to talk about in a... in a kid's show. Dating and sex after 45. Excuse me, what? That 45? That is a very, very old dog. What the? And he won't spare you the gory detail. Yo. That is a perfect kid shiver right there. What the? What? The Walking Dead. It's all about skill, speed, and ingenuity in this cooking competition show where <laughs> what? Some what? chefs turn everyday items into an extraordinary meal. Oh, no. What exactly are they cooking? Or who are they exactly... Oh. To be fair, in the world of walk The Walking Dead, it's probably a bit of a task to turn everyday items into an extraordinary meal. You're just happy to get some food as well. At all. Yeah, but I don't think that's what The Walking Dead is about. Unless there's like some cannibalism subplot there. Minions, an urban wait, 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 wait. Ted Allen TV shows food and travel TV. Yeah, I think that's slightly mismatched. Minions, an urban drug kingpin sees hip hop as a way out of his dangerous career. What? Can he escape his violent past? <laughs> what? 50 Cent makes his film debut in this autobiographical drama. <laughs> what? The Shining. Two losers in love take their game up a notch and win. But it's a train wreck in the making. A hilarious train wreck. Peppa Pig. The infamous World War II. What? Nah. The Death Factory comes to life. Step inside and experience the horror for yourself. What? What? World War II Death Factory. Hey, yo. Peppa, what the fuck have you been up to? 
<laughs> World War II Death Factory. She, she had us all fooled. Oh my God, Peppa. Shrek, the musical. Now, before we listen to that, first of all, can I say, this costume looks fucking terrifying. Ew. I mean, it's probably not too far from the source material, I guess, but it's still fucking ugh. While his schoolmates struggle through average adolescent troubles, one boy deals with a more demonic destiny. Yeah, it seems about right. More girls and intriguing. Wait. Guys, I, I have never watched the show. My, my sisters watch the show, but I have a slight feeling that's not the Gilmore Girls. I could be wrong. Look at scientists using prosthetics and other innovations to treat a range of injured animals to give them a new lease of life. Turbo, what? Hotel sex, flying. Uh... First class, eating yourself out of breath. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. The off breath kind of makes it better. I just read these three words and I was like, um, ayo. Um. His life isn't as glamorous as it sounds. The what? The Shawshank Redemption. Two chickens hatch an elaborate plan to escape the farm before their goose is cooked. Can they fly the coop? Brother Bear <laughs> 2. Shirtless guys, secret love triangles, and a steamy Shakespeare play. They're what? They're in for one hot summer. Ah. Oh. With the with the title, it just makes it worse. They are in for one hot summer. What the two brothers? Ugh. Uh, Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. Okay. A, uh, a grief-stricken couple returns to their homeland after their infant's death, only to find what? that their deluxe high-rise is haunted by sinister spirits. The adventures Mickey, of Sonic what? and Frog are uh, the idyllic English countryside. Flowers bloom, nightingales sing, and homicide is as common as hay fever. What the fuck? That sounds like something from that Sonic.exe horror game. What the? Homicide is as common as hay fever. Um. What? Sonic? Pingu, meet Pingu, a fit young fighter turned bloated Lothario, ruling with extreme decadence inside this grandiose pleasure palace. By yeah, that seems accurate enough for Pingu. Bible secrets revealed. Bible secrets revealed. That's a show. Well, it has only one season. I can I can tell why. He smoked and drank. He endured depression, and he helped win World War Two. The world wouldn't be the same without him. Hey, who who are you talking about? Are you talking about Jesus? Um. Yo, Jesus has been through some shit. What? <laughs> Because of your interest in plastic paradise. What? Tinkerbell, her pimp cheated on her while she was locked up. Now this working girl sets out to claim her pound of flesh. Oh. Oh, oh no. Wait, isn't Tinkerbell a minor as well? Like, how, how old? Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Most viewers suggested that Tinkerbell is 12 to 13 years old. Ah, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Netflix, what the fuck were you... Ah, okay, nah. Claim her pound of flesh. The fuck, I forgot he was going to continue. <laughs> Matt, stop. Human Centipede 3, the final sequence. Wait, there's, there's three Human Centipede movies? Also, here, recently added the Human Centipede 3. That's, that's literally this one. Dating, career, finding a great taco, it's all hard. But becoming a mature adult is a whole other degree of difficulty. E.T., the... Huh. 
extraterrestrial and when a lady terrorist messes with the US, what? Like female with female. The best men for the job are in a women's prison. Um. Burgers, a dying man makes a desperate bid to save his family, but in the meth trade, there are fates far worse than death. Bad boys, they say. It's never too late to fall in love again. Oh. <laughs> oh no! These two are out to prove them right. Oh no! <laughs> Bro, we just changed the entire plot of the. Sh <laughs> The plot of the entire movie has just changed. <laughs> okay, that's that's great. That's great. And Will Smith, if you happen to be watching this, it's just a joke, mate. It's just a joke. Out. Oh, yeah. You might make. You have to make that perfectly clear. clear. Schwitz, the Nazis, and the final happy little trees, happy little clouds. This soft-spoken artist world is a wonderful place to be. Ah. Auschwitz, a wonderful place to. Yo. Like, as a German, I don't know if I'm supposed to laugh at that. Or if I'm even allowed. Auschwitz, a wonderful place to be. This soft spoken art. Oh, shit, I didn't even uh, notice this. This soft spoken artist's work. That makes it even worse, bro. The fact he used to be an artist makes it just worse. A wonderful place to be. Oh my fucking god. I think someone got fired that day. Full place to be. Barney and Friends, the true story of color. Bruh. Did you guys hear that again? Every single recording in the last like one and a half to two weeks. My Windows just makes the sound that I received a new email. Can't you just wait another 10 minutes, bro? Literally the entire hour before I recorded, everything was fine. I just have to close my email program the next time. But it's like every single time, the last time, couple of times I recorded. Zambia's infamously violent and powerful drug cartels. Yeah, to be fair, with the way they look and act, I wouldn't be surprised if they're on some stuff. Fuels this gritty new gangster drama series. It's gangster Barney drama music. series. A theme park prison could be worse. A death routine might have to keep everyone amused to stay alive. More oh no. Wait, that description. What is that description? Is that from Dead Man Wonderland? I think that's from Deadman Wonderland, isn't it? Yo, that's an OG anime. Do you guys know that? Have you watched it? Stay alive. More Barney songs. Being shy when starting a new romance is bad enough, but throw in the urge to kill and you've got a real problem. Fuck. Yeah, that's, that, that increases the difficulty. Also, am I the only one that thinks so many of these descriptions just sound so incredibly boring? Like, if I am scrolling, let's say, theoretically, I'm in the situation, I'm scrolling through Netflix, thinking what to watch, and I read this, I'd be like, bro, that sounds so fucking mediocre. I'm not gonna watch that. It sounds so mid. I don't know, maybe I'm picky with these things. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, I am. I am picky with these kinds of things. It's like one and a half hours of watching, but I, I think to myself, like, these one and a half hours are precious. I'm never going to get them back. So I don't want to watch something super disappointing. And if I were to read some something like that, I think I would be like, just, nah, pass. It sounds super underwhelming. Fucking hell, why is it always Barney? Anyway, we'll do one more. The Muppets, after I try... The Muppets. Are those the Muppets? Maybe not the ones we grew up with. Maybe they're different ones. In the Hunger Games, Katniss After her triumph of the Hunger Games. What? Severdine travels through the districts on a victor's tour while a rebellion gathers steam around her. So 
Um, you make a mistake at school or work or whatever, don't stress about it too much. Netflix are worth almost $200 billion and they think that Simon Pegg leads his district to rebellion in the goddamn Muppets. Well, there you have it. If you ever feel bad about yourself, know that some of these people at Netflix made this mistake and they still got hired. Like, we don't know if they remained hired. Maybe some of them <laughs> Especially with, where is it? There. Especially with the Auschwitz one. Um, I'm not too sure. Now again, I'm not sure to begin with if it's just a bug of the system. I'm guessing. But it's crazy how many pictures they have of that. How many times this has happened. That's a bit too much to just occasionally be happening right like that seems like a pretty severe bug if you have this shit for example like that sounds um yeah a bit questionable especially as a german i'm not sure if i can laugh at that anyway that's gonna be it for this video i think hmm which one was my favorite let me scroll back let me yeah, I think this one was my, my favorite. Because that description just changes the plot of the entire movie so much. I love it. It's so wild. I think this 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 might be my favorite one. What's your favorite one been, guys? I think, like I said, I think this is going to be my favorite one. Because just by swapping out the description, you just change the entire plot of the movie. And add into that that picture... It just makes it so much funnier. Apart from that, we had a bunch of funny ones. We had the the fucking horrifying Shrek. And not even not even looking at the description, just looking at Shrek. That's a nightmare, bro. Imagine dragging your kid to that musical and and has to see this IRL. That's trauma. Oh yeah, and Peppa Pig. How could we forget about Peppa Pig? The World War II Death Factory comes to life. Gee. Um, yeah, apparently we grew up with the wrong Peppa Pig and she hid her craziness from us all the entire all the time. This entire time. Crazy. Anyway, that's gonna be it from this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite one was out of these guys out of all these. Um, if you have suggestions for other videos for me to watch let me know in the comments i still have a couple left you guys gave me a bunch in the last couple of videos so i'm gonna um take care of those one by one thank you very much for that but i always welcome more and new suggestions and yeah i hope you guys have a great saturday enjoy the rest of your weekend and i hope i see you in the next video or during one of my live streams and like i said uh Discord plug again if you want to join. Link is in the description. So, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.